Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and happy Vlogmas! I am updating all my binders and letting you guys know because I've expanded and I've upgraded my binders. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what is in these guys, these suckers right now. As the title can probably tell, you probably know that I'm going to be showing you my GOT7 binder. Um, this GOT7 binder holds the majority of my GOT7 um, cards and things that come out of the albums, but it does not hold all of them. I do have another binder that does have some extra odds and ends, and that will be in my video for tomorrow. So if there's something that you don't see in here, there is a chance that it might be in that other one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this Scott seven one. If you've watched any of my, um, photo cards before, I think I posted two videos previously. You might recognize this binder. This is the original binder that I've always had. The GOT7 section, as you can see, is very large. So I decided to leave this in the largest binder. And yeah, GOT7 is my largest collection and things are already falling out because they put out a lot of stuff and there's a lot of things and they make it, while difficult to collect, not impossible. So I have a very large GOT7 collection and I have no shame. So as you can see over here, I have certain things that I do not have folders yet. I need to add these into the special cards. These will actually most likely end up in the other binder that I was talking about, but I need to get additional small sleeves, which I do not have yet. These are from Present You, and I do have a whole bunch of them. You see how many? It's because I bought many, many albums. <laughs> um, also, these are a few full, full length pages that I need. I do not, I ran out of full length pages, so I need to get a couple more before I can go ahead and add these in with the rest of them. You will see the rest of them in there that have already, that were able to fit because I had enough pages. But let's just go ahead and let's dig into the rest of this. So let's do this. So I've got seven. Look at that. It's so cute. Okay. So I'm going to slide this over a little bit and there. Okay. So we are going to start from the very beginning. So I have all the albums in order. So we have, got it. Um, and then we have got love and then we have, um, stop, stop it. And then I do have for this, I do have the Jin Young. Oh my God. Look at him. I don't know why I have. Okay. Look, this is what happens right now. I'm going to fix this. Jin Young should be there. And this Jackson with the terrible haircut should be here. I fixed it. Okay. So then we have, this one is Young Jay's from Just Right. And we have, I have a JB and a Young Jay from, these are both from <sighs> Mad. Um, I do have both versions of Mad. I do not have the winter edition of Mad yet. I'm still waiting to get that don't judge me. Um, so next here we've got my Jackson and this one is from, uh, oh my goodness. Prior to turbulence, departure, departure, departure. Okay. <laughs> then we have the just right bam, bam. And this is also from departure. This is the Jin Young and Yu Yum. Oh my goodness. The abuse that would happen in this situation. They're so funny. Okay. Um, and then moving on is Turbulence. So Turbulence is the first album. Okay. So actually it's kind of an awkward situation with GOT7. Like it's an awkward period that I came into liking GOT7. So I technically started liking GOT7 during um, Departure Era. And I was around and I saw their promotions during Departure Era. Fly was technically the first GOT7 song that I listened to, but it had technically released when I got into them. Granted, my, mind you this, it had only been released for a few days. <laughs> I think it was like, it was not long. It was only a couple days, but technically Turbulence was the first album that I was there for leading into the release and everything. But just so you understand when I got into them. So, Cat, you're ruining my light. Get out the way. Okay, so here we have Turbulence. And with Turbulence, 
reason I have so many cards is because I did purchase every single album. On top of that, I purchased all eight versions and then I purchased all eight versions again for the signed versions. So I made sure that I had all the cards. There are, as you can see, differences between the cards. There are cards that have curved ed edges and there are cards that have straight edges. And that is the difference between a card that is first press, which is, I believe, the straight edges, versus second press, which is the curved edges. So you can already tell which cards I pulled initially versus the cards that I pulled in later ones. Um, so there, each member has three different ones. There was a luggage tag, there was a selfie, and another one. Um, so that is what each one is. And there are things on the back, which is why they are individually paged, even though I tend to do that with most groups, unless it's like uh, certain photos. You'll see it even with GOT7, where I will back in front. Otherwise, I usually give them their full page where you can see the backs and everything. So I have Jin Young's. You have Young Jay and Bam Bam. I unfortunately do not have the these guys. I'm missing, I think it's three cards. Yeah, three. So I'm missing the um, the photo shoot ones for Young Jay for Bam Bam. And then I am missing the um, selfie. No, not the selfie, the, the ID card the ID card for UEM. So I am missing a total of three cards for Turbulence. I just never ended up pulling those cards to be able to get them, unfortunately. It sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so then next up we have, um, right now we have the next album, which was Arrival. And this is, well, I was already running group orders for God7 already by this time, so. I do have, I believe I have all the cards. We're, we're gonna double check because I can't remember right now. So I, again, they did come with three per member. So I do have my JBs, my Marks, Jackson, Jin Young, Young J, Bam Bam, and Yu Yim. So I do have all the cards for that. Um, this is, this is the My Swagger card. This was, um, I don't really collect the Japanese stuff, but I do have this one. Bam Bam is my bias, so that's why I have the Bam Bam one. Um, then we have JJ Project. There were three cards where there was the clear card, the selfie card, and the youth card. So we do have all those for JB and for Jin Young. Then we moved on, we had the 7 for 7 album. So 7 for 7, there were a bunch of cards. Um, so Again, each member had, th had three different cards, but they were done a little bit differently. So there were two of these normal sized ones. So as you can see, there's these guys, which I have JB, Mark, Jin Young, Young J, and Bam Bam. I don't have all of them. That's why they're not grouped together by member. Also, there's another weird thing with them, which you will see in a moment in case you don't know about the 7 for 7 album. So that's why I just decided to group them by card type this time rather than by member. Um, but I do have my JB, my Mark Jackson, and Young J, and Bam Bam. Bam Bam is my bias, so I always try to make sure I have Bam Bam unless for some reason I don't pull Bam Bams for whatever reason. Um, so then for this, this is the 7 for 7 present edition. So GOT7 tends to, from what I've noticed, they don't tend to put out season's greetings, but they will put out their winter repack, which will often have a pre-order gift that is essentially like a season's greetings, where it usually has a calendar in there, which is nice and cute, and it gets you a new version of the album, more things to collect, and yeah, it just makes it nice and easy. Um, so for this, I have my Jackson and my Bam Bam. Um, so you'll notice, um, when it starts to get down where I can't collect all of the members, um, my primary focus is Bam Bam, followed by JB, and then Jackson immediately after that. Um, those are That is my holy trinity, so those are the guys that you will see me trying to collect the most. Um, that's just the way I am. So these ones with the present edition, it came with the individual selfie ones, 
And then rather than having a second selfie one, it had a unit one. So there were a bunch of unit cards. So as you can kind of guess, I focused on getting my Bam Bams, but I also wanted JBs. So I looked at with this one where I have a JB and Bam Bam, but otherwise I have a Bam Bam, a Bam Bam, a JB, a JB, um, and it ends up balancing out very nicely. So what I was mentioning previously about odd ones is technically there was a third card for each member and that was these triangle cards so i have the jb i have mark jackson young j and also bam bam and then for the present um for the present edition i have the jackson and the bam bam i was never able to get the jb for those so no jb for those unfortunately. Next up, we have the Eyes on You albums. <laughs> Eyes on You, yes, there were a lot of cards. Again, three per member. Um, as you can see, I, well, actually, technically, it was more than three per member because each version had a member-specific card, and then there were two other types of cards that were in every single album. So technically, technically, there were five cards for each member that you could potentially get. Um, so for this, as you can see, so I ended up getting two copies of each version. So I have the yellows, the yellow version, um, and the eyes essentially. So the eyes version, and then I have my JB cards. Um, so for, I have the, like I said, I collect JB and Bam Bam. So those, again, those are the ones that I have for each different version. So eyes, and then I have my two marks. And then the on, the red one, and my Jacksons. Again, the other red, the Bam Bam red one. And then my Jin Youngs. And then the U version where I have my JB and my Bam Bam. Then I have my Young J. I have Bam Bam. I do have an extra Bam Bam and extra Young J. And I also have extra Mark. So if anybody is interested, I do have those listed as well. And then I have the Yu-Gi-Oh! So um, I don't have any of the other cards, but that is what it is. Um, it would It's a lot of cards, but not nearly as the album that we're about to get into, which is Present You. So we'll start with the clear card. This was a pre-order gift, and this was the group, group one. So... I do have the group one. And then now I will start showing you all the cards. <laughs> so for present you, in case you do not know, there are 10 cards per member. So what's actually kind of cool um, on the back, when you stitch the photos together, they actually make a picture, which you kind of can't see right there, but they do stitch together if you lay them on top of each other. So I have my JBs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the JBs. Um, so I have most of them, but not. Cat, you're in my light. Why do you keep getting in my light? You're so cute, though, and soft. Okay. But here is my JB clear card. So what I did was I went and I grouped all the cards together by member. Cat, you're in my light. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. I grouped all the cards together by member. And then I added the clear card for each. So then next I have, I have all, I only have a couple marks and then I have the mark one. There were not that many Jackson cards and I, that I got in the goes either the regular go or the sign goes. So I don't have too many Jackson cards cause I wanted to make sure you guys had Jackson cards as well. But I do have three of the Jackson cards here. And then the Jackson clear card. I have the two Jin Youngs. And then the Jin Young Clear. I have uh, multiple Young J's and the Young J Clear. And then I have Bam Bam. I have almost the full set of Bam Bam. I am missing one Bam Bam. So if anybody knows somebody that might be ha might have that missing one that I have, but that I don't have. But we have Bam Bam. Look at my precious baby. And then we have more Bam Bam. And then we have Bam Bam's clear one. Then I also have the Yu-Gi-Oh! And I only have the three Yu-Gi-Oh! He's a little cutie though. 
Um, but I did have to sacrifice getting one of his cards that I really liked in order so I could get enough of the, I think it was the JBs because I was already getting my Bam Bams. Um, so these are, these were actually the event cards from Arrival and they were unit ones. So I have those four. Those are the only four that I ended up getting. These are the pure cards, I believe. So I have the Bam Bam set here. These are tour cards, which I managed to purchase um, when I went to go see them in Toronto. Um, I was not able to get the JB one, but I do have everybody else. So that is nice, but I wish I had JB, but the JB one sold out before I could get up there and get them all. Um, these are the cards that came with the, um, the fan meeting. I purchased the photo cards from the fan meeting. So these are from the third fan meeting. Look how cute they are. Okay. They're just so cute. I love them so much. Okay. So these cards were one of the nice things with God 7 is that they will give you the full set of cards when you buy DVDs. So you will get all seven. You don't have to like fight for a particular member. Um, these were from the Fly DVD. And this is from the Turbulence Monograph in here. And I do have all of the Turbulence Monograph actually listed in here. Again, this is more my swagger. And then here, which you saw the other ones that were out, these are from the Arrival Mon, the Arrival one, I believe. Or, no, these were the Fly and Soul ones. So these large ones were the Fly and Soul ones. And then, so, I forget what these are. Oh, these were from the fan meeting. From the fan meeting DVD, um, We Under the Moonlight. This look on Bam Bam, I want this sweater still to this day. And then this is from the arrival now. So we have the arrival ones, which I wasn't able to fit the rest of them. And then here are the photo cards from the most recent fan meeting. The new one is coming up and I will most likely be trying to buy cards then as well because hey, I've done it two years so far. Why would I stop for the third? So we've got the cards, there were two sets. So this is the first set. There were eight cards, so the seven members plus the group. And then here is the second set as well. These were from the GoToon dolls. So these are from the figures, these two. And then this was from the actual doll. I only did get the two figures and then the one doll. And then these are from over the years purchasing the albums. These are the, um, the M-Wave cards that are there. And then over here, these are actually some of the photo cards that I've made and given out in group orders. And these are just some random things that I've picked up over time from a whole bunch of different things. As you can see, it's a lot of Bam Bam because a number of these are from um, slogans and things that I bought, Bam slogans. Um, and then, yeah, that is my GOT7 binder. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, there are a few things that are not listed in here, but they will be in my other video, which I'm about to do right now. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. It should be up tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.